Welcome to today's video. I recently did a unboxing video for my BoxyCharm Premium for the month of May and I did announce on that video that I have two base boxes and I want to break open into these two base boxes and show you guys what came inside. There are two different boxes with two different variations, but they are both the base box, which if you're not familiar with BoxyCharm yet, I don't know how you couldn't be because they are all over social media and everywhere else, but these base boxes were $25 a month and you are expected to get at least five full-size products and a retail value of $125. So I'm super excited to be able to show you two different base box variations so you can know what is out there, what's being shipped out, and if you decide to sign up for BoxyCharm, you'll know maybe what to expect in your box. I also am doing a try on at the end of this video. If you guys are interested in seeing how I created this makeup look and what products I used, just watch until the very end. I'll timestamp the try on portion as well in the description box below. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, because I did forget to say this, my name's Gabrielle, my channel name is Girl Got Glow. And if you like everything beauty related, fashion related, style related, and home design related, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You won't be disappointed. And by the way, it is free to join my Glow family here. And if you're noticing something a little different about me today, that is because I'm rocking some pink hair, which I'm feeling very cute in. I didn't go from jet black hair to pink hair overnight. This is a wig, people, obviously, but I just wanted to have fun. Today is Friday, and it's been so boring in quarantine. I just wanted to do a little something different, that's all. Let's go ahead and jump right into today's unboxing. <laughs> BoxyCharm boxes, boop, boop, boop. Both of these base boxes are a different shape, but this box is a bit bigger than this one, so that is kind of interesting. I want to go into the big box. That's what I want to do first, so that is what I'm going to do. So the first thing that I'm seeing in the box is by Elemis, and I do love this brand. I think they make quality top quality skincare products. And this is their Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. So that is the container here. Now, I actually ended up buying this in the add-ons. Um, so I already have this. It got shipped to me a couple weeks ago. I've already tried them. I really, really like them. I love everything that's like exfoliating. I want my skin to be baby soft and like brand new. I'm not gonna go ahead and use these today because I already have them. And I can tell you that they work really, really well. Let me also pull out the card here because I forgot to do that. But uh, the theme for May is Mother Nature. And the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads retail for $59. So that's it, that's a good amount of money. $59 in this box already. The second item that I see in the box is by Violet Voss. This is the Essentials Palette. And I've actually gotten this before in BoxyCharm. So this is a definite repeat. Now, I recently signed up for a second base box, so they may have not known that I've already received this. Obviously, it's under a different profile. Wanted to see if I could get a couple of different variations and uh, give you guys some more information to go by. Plus, I just wanted more makeup and more skincare. Okay, shoot me, all right? The Essentials palette does retail for $29. And let me show you what the inside of the palette looks like. It does have a full size mirror. And then this is the color setup. So we have a couple neutrals. We have a pop of pink. We have some purple. We have this beautiful emerald color and yellow and also cream. So that is a really nice value already with the two items that came out of the box. The next thing that I see here is from Pretty Vulgar. This is their eyeshadow primer. So that is what the tube looks like. It's really cute baby pink and gold and white. I really do like Pretty Vulgar's packaging. It's very feminine, it's very cute. Uh, it's a little whimsical, which I can also appreciate. But the eyeshadow primer is $22. 
So I see this box as being a lot of value so far and I am definitely gonna be trying this out today at the end of the video. The next item I'm seeing is from Tarte. So this is their micellar magic makeup remover and cleansing water. You can always use some micellar water as it does have a little pump top bottle. So you just put your cup cotton pad in there, you press down and the liquid comes up, soaks up into your pad, and then you can remove your makeup with that. I haven't tried this from Tarte. Um, I don't know if this is new for Tarte actually, but this does retail $18 and I'm really excited to get this. And I probably will use this later on tonight to remove my makeup to see how it works. Now one thing I do find kind of interesting is I just noticed on the back of the Tarte box, it says that this is a sample not for sale. Let me show you guys. So I don't know if you guys can read that here, but it says a sample not for sale. Now this is a full size bottle as far as I can tell. It looks like it's in your typical Tarte packaging. So the fact that it says it's a sample I don't know what that means, you guys. This does not look like a sample. I don't know if they made this exclusively for BoxyCharm. I do know in the past, BoxyCharm has had a bit of scandal with their products. People saying that they were made exclusively for the box and they weren't the same ingredients as the one that you would find in Ulta or Sephora or on the brand website. So I think that that is a little bit interesting that this says sample not for sale. If anybody has gotten this variation or this box, have you guys noticed that on the back of the packaging? And I would be really curious if you could drop a comment and let me know what you think that means because I don't know what that means. And it just seems a little bit suspicious, but I mean, it looks like a full size product. I'm happy with that. I don't know. I don't know what that means. So just let me know if you guys do in the comments below. Then the very last item that I'm seeing is something from Dose of Colors. This is their Lip It Up satin lipstick. Um, I don't think I've tried anything from Dose of Colors with any of their lip products. I don't think I have. Um, I think, I don't think I've tried a lot from this brand actually. I don't know if I've tried anything, but I'm excited to get this. This is in the color Brulee and ooh, okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to be definitely putting this on my lips today because I love that. And look at it, it kind of goes with the hair. I like that. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be using this today. This retails for $17. I think everything in this box was awesome. Actually, I loved all the brands. I was familiar with all the brands. Now, I'm not afraid of using brands that I am not aware of or familiar with. I think that's kind of the charm pun intended, um, with getting a subscription box like this that you can actually venture out of your comfort zone or if there's something that you wouldn't typically buy, you can actually try it out and it might become a staple for you or a holy grail item and you might wanna repurchase it or expand your brand awareness to venture out of your comfort zone and try something new in a different brand. The value of this particular box is $145, so definitely a good value for a $25 a month box. Now moving into the second boxy charm box, we have the smaller or at least slimmer box here. Let's see what came inside. Whoa, this is like really full. Actually, it's so surprising. This was fuller than the other box but they use a smaller box. But anyways, I am excited. Let's see if they have a card. I don't think that they have a card in here. I didn't, I don't see a card. So I don't know what the retail value of each item is. When I'm editing the video, what I'll do is I'll find the price and I will put it on the screen as I'm going through the products. And I'll also put a little total value in my video after when I'm editing. So the first item that I'm seeing is a palette, and this is from Beauty Creations. I love the graphic detail on the packaging. It is very Cali, it is very summertime, and maybe even a little Hawaii vibe there. I really, really like it, but it says Cali chic, so let's just say this looks just like California, where I am currently at. So this palette is a nine pan palette. That is what the inside looks like. It is definitely a neutral palette with a lot of warmth to it. We have four shimmer shades and five matte shades. So that looks really nice. I haven't tried anything from Beauty Creations before. This is the first time I think that I've ever seen in one of my BoxyCharm boxes that I'm getting two 
palettes. This is by Crown Beauty, and let's open this up to see what it looks like. So this is the outer packaging. It's a really nice matte down black. It has in rose gold crown, and that is what the inside of the palette looks like. So this is a really pretty, very neutral palette as well. Almost looks very similar to the Kelly palette, the Kelly Chic palette. Let's open it up and compare the two. So as we look at the palettes side by side, they look really, really similar. Like those dark browns and shimmer shades and the warmth of some of those colors, they really look very, very similar. Aside from the yellow, I think that might be the only thing that is different. So it's kind of an interesting choice for BoxyCharm to put two very neutral palettes. I mean, I'm not mad about it because I love a good neutral palette and I do love eyeshadow and I love eyeshadow palettes. So I'm not mad about it. I just think that it would have been fun if they would have done like a really vibrant eyeshadow palette alongside a neutral so you can play it both ways if you want to be all out or if you want to be neutral. So anyways, but I am very happy to get two palettes. I think this was my choice item and I was so relieved that my choice actually went through because I had to go through the login and sign on and do my choice option. I did it like right away as soon as the email came out. I went in right away and let me tell you, it was not the easiest situation. I kept pressing the choice and I didn't see a confirmation and then I'd log back in later and it would look like I wasn't even, I didn't even make a choice at all. So I was like, did it go? It wants me to choose again. So I had to keep choosing it and choosing it because I was worried that my choice selection didn't get made. If Boxy just was able to update that part of it, so when you make the choice, you get that instant confirmation and it doesn't keep repeating the same steps to ask you to do a choice, it would be really, really great and it would save everybody a lot of frustration and possibly sadness because the last time I went in, I saw this was sold out and it was grayed out and I was like, oh, did it get my choice? Did it? I don't know. I wanted that item. So apparently it got my choice. So I'm super excited about that. This is from Hourglass Cosmetics. This is their Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. Super excited. And I think this is the first time I've ever seen an hourglass product in this box. And I am very, very happy. In fact, I would have expected something like this to be in the premium or luxe box versus the base box because I don't know, I felt like, you'll see if you guys watch my unboxing for my premium unboxing for me, I liked the box, don't get me wrong, but I feel like some of these items are actually items that I would have expected in premium versus the base box. So I'm actually a little bit more satisfied so far with digging into my base box than my premium. Not that the premium was a bad box, it was a good box. It just feels like these are more exciting products to me, especially with Hourglass, you guys. This stuff is expensive. I feel like this pink hair is like gonna be, you know, very compatible with some of the makeup that came in this box. So I'm excited to do the try on portion of this video. But yeah, that is what it looks like. The next item that I see is a nail polish duo from Deborah Lipman. Now, I don't necessarily paint my nails. I normally, I normally just put on the Kiss sets or you know, the Ardell sets, like glue them on my nails and I'm good to go. That's what these are. I've talked about that also on my channel before. Maybe I could hold on to these for like my toes in the summertime. A girl right now needs a good pedicure because I've been in quarantine mode in California and salons and spas are not currently open for business. So I will be definitely using this later on when I can go actually get a pedicure. I'm excited about that. The very last item that I see is from English Laundry. This is their perfume in number seven. The reason why I know this is a perfume is because I got this a long time ago in one of my boxy charm boxes. It wasn't this scent. It was actually, I don't know what scent it was, but it was like a pink box and it smelled really, really good. I ended up giving it to my mom actually because I had a ton of perfume at the time and she loved it, so that was cool. This, oh, I unscrewed it as if it was one of those roller balls, but it's actually a spray. Okay. Okay, so this is not necessarily a scent I would enjoy wearing. It has a little bit more of a baby powder 
floral scent. I don't like baby powder in my perfume, so I might actually end up giving this to my mom as well. I'm sure she will love that, but that is really, really cool. I do enjoy getting perfumes, especially a perfume that's such a substantial size. I really like that BoxyCharm decided to add in a category that we typically wouldn't expect to see like perfume. I would love to see more perfumes in my boxes. I think that this is a great way um, to try a different perfume and see if you like it. So that's awesome. Okay, well now let's go ahead and get into the actual try on portion. I got three palettes here. I didn't even get, you know what? I didn't even get a palette in my premium box. I would expect to get a palette in that box versus getting two palettes in the base box. Again, I'm not mad about it. I am so grateful that I got three palettes sitting in front of me, but my premium is $10 more a month and I just felt like that should definitely, hands down, have some sort of a palette in it. But, okay, so what am I gonna do today? This color here is really calling out to me right now. So let me go ahead and start with the Pretty Vulgar Primer. So this is flesh colored, or well, a very light color flesh. I like to have some color in my eye primer. I just feel like it does a better job of concealing any veins or thinness in my eyelids or redness. So this does feel like it has a bit of tackiness to it. So I'm not sure how well that's gonna work for the, these eyeshadows because as much as you want your eyeshadow to stick, you also don't want it to stick and grip in one spot. You want to be able to blend your eyeshadows out. And so I wonder if that's gonna be the case, if it's gonna be too sticky where the eyeshadow kind of just adheres to a spot and stays like a glue, or if it's still gonna give my shadows the ability to blend, but we're gonna find out. First, I'm gonna go in with this color here, which is the lightest color. I'm gonna lay that underneath my brow bone for a nice little highlight there. This just has the most beautiful amount of shimmer and shine. It's subtle but it's there, just what I like with a under brow bone situation. It does feel very blendable. And it's going on really, really smooth. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead into this color here for my transition. Okay, you guys, I am very, very impressed with this eyeshadow. That blended so easily and the pigmentation is so beautiful. It's definitely buildable, but you can build it to your own preferred intensity. I'm pretty impressed with this eyeshadow. I know I'm on the second color only, but so far the formula is so good, you guys. And I absolutely love Love, love this color. I'm enjoying this palette so much, I'm gonna keep using it. I really do like it. I want to use this color here for my lid. This is beautiful. I feel like this is gonna make me think about crown a little bit more because I have used some crown brushes in the past and I do like them. I think they make amazing brushes and you guys, crown has been around a really, really long time. But I don't think I've ever thought of their makeup and I didn't really even know that they had makeup. But now that I've used this and now that I know, I am definitely gonna be thinking more about using their products. Okay, so I'm gonna use that same color here for my inside corner to add that little pop of light. Okay, so now I'm gonna dip into this and play up my under eye area a little bit. Now I'm super excited to try the Vanish Stick. It's a really pretty sandy color, a sandy taupe with a pink undertone to it. So that looks really pretty. In fact, I think that's how I'm gonna apply it. I'm gonna put it to the back of my hand first and then I'm gonna transfer it onto my, my face. I think that this highlighter is absolutely beautiful. I did put it on my top lip here 
which I'm gonna go in and line next and then use the Dose of Colors lipstick. But this highlighter is really pretty. It does really stand out, but it is also very soft at the same time. Like in the right light, it's like blinging, but as you kind of move around, it is subtle also in certain areas. I really, really like it. The formula isn't very thick actually, it's very thin and you would think that being a foundation type stick situation or highlight stick situation, it would be really thick and creamy, but it actually is really thin, which I like because it makes it more buildable and you can shear it down easy and you can also build it up a lot easier. So I really, really can appreciate this highlighter. I love it. Hey you guys, I really like the lipstick. It's very, very creamy. It feels really good on the lips. If you want to put it in the cap, you have to be kind of careful. Um, I guess you can wind it out and twist it and then the whole lipstick component inside moves up. So that's cool, except for you have to be really careful when you're placing it back in the cap because you can't put it all the way down. I really love the products that came in May's box. I think this has actually been probably the best box or boxes that I've seen all year long. I wanna say this is the best month so far, so good. So we'll see what next month has to bring to our doorstep. I am looking forward to June. Based off of this box, they have some big shoes to fill for June, but I'm loving everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel. It helps with the algorithm. Also, if you wanna comment below, give me your thoughts and opinions. I would love to hear from you guys. I love you guys. I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, bye for now. Bye. Mm -hmm.